In this particular video, we are going to be looking at collapsars, a lesser discussed topic in the subject of astronomy and space science. If this is your first time here and you want to know more about space, black holes and all that space stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything space related. So let's start, shall we? The word collapsars can be broken down to two simple words, collapse and star. So going by this simple method, we can define collapsars as the stars which have collapsed under their own gravity are called collapsars. Just like how humans need oxygen to survive, stars need hydrogen to survive. Hydrogen is simply a primary fuel for a star. When this hydrogen is used by a star, it can't maintain fusion reactions. When this happens, gravity takes over and the star starts to shrink into a smaller, smaller and yet smaller star until it collapses. Now, the smaller and shrunk star is called a collapsar. The collapse of stars are of three types, depending on their mass. If a star is less than one and a half times the mass of our sun, it will start to shrink when it runs out of hydrogen. The star will then become a white dwarf. White dwarfs, as the name suggests, are small stars that are white in color. A teaspoon of white dwarf matter weighs 5.5 tons. Now that's heavy. This tells us that white dwarfs are extremely dense and heavy. Now, if a star is only a little heavier than our sun, it will shrink down to what we call a neutron star. Neutron stars are extremely dangerous and hostile stars, which come in different varieties. They are extremely dense and dangerous. Now, when a star is more than three times the mass of our sun, it turns into a black hole. Now, I really don't need to explain black holes, do I? So I now guess that you know what happens when a star collapses and what exactly are collapsars. For more space videos, subscribe to Theoretical Hub and like this particular video so that it reaches more people. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.